So in this episode of Ron and Jeremy Build Guitars, Team Ron Jeremy, up here uh, Ron went and bought some bird's eye maple for the top laminate. So uh, we've got that glued together and then gluing mine together right now. So yeah, and now we're gonna do uh, some routing. Now since this is does not have our top laminate on it yet we can take our route here for switches uh, and our pots and volume knobs and basically go all the way through this piece because we're going to be gluing another piece on top so that's what we're going to do so <clears throat> this piece right here is the actual route all the way through this is the ledge that the cover sits on so we're gonna do let's take that piece out and trace it and same over here so now we're gonna square this guy up <clears throat> all the way around mark our cavity here. And there we go. So what we're going to use in this case to uh, drill these holes and then also these ones is an inch and five eighths Forstner bit and obviously a mini mill. I've got a little piece of wood down here to uh, make sure I don't hit the hit the uh, carriage there. Screw the Forstner bit up. pretty good. So we've made it all the way through, and uh, now i got to clean some shavings up. Alright, I switched to an inch and a half Forstner for these guys. So now we've got the control cavity routed out. And the switch cavity routed out. We need to use our template and route the uh, wire run between them. And we're going to do that by using a template. But you see how it's got the bearing on top, so it'll ride along this template all the way down. So we have to secure the template to this, and then route uh, route it out half inch deep. So at this point we have our guitar roughed out and we're getting ready to laminate the top on. So this is just a weight reduction cavity I've put in. But one of the things uh, I've seen is I've seen people use a bunch of clamps and you know that's kind of awkward. Uh, I think we can do it a little bit better for cheap. 
Um, this is a piece of, you know, three quarter by 24 by 18, um, just, you know, particle board uh, that I got from Lowe's for $8. And what I've done is I've traced the profile of the guitar on it. Now the plan is to use half inch bolts that are five inches long around the perimeter, along with some weight on top. I've got 12 bolts here to go around and create a big sandwich clamp for the whole body. So uh, that's the plan and um, first step is to cut the plywood. Okay, so we've marked our bolt holes. We've cut our uh, wood into two 17 inch wide strips by 24. We've marked our bolt holes all the way around the perimeter. And now we're gonna use a 5 8 Forstner bit and drill the holes. So here's our clamping fixture all finished. <clears throat> so you've got two pieces of wood, all the holes cut. You know, your laminated pieces go under there. Insert it, you just take some of these bolts out, slide your pieces in, and clamp it down. You can use a impact to do it. Uh, it provides nice even pressure all the way across it. So next we're going to plane the maple that goes on top of on top of our guitar bodies there. Okay, so here's the top laminate piece of the wood. It's got a little bit of bird's eye maple in it on both sides. It's not a book matched piece, but I'm not really worried about that. This side is actually pretty good. Uh, what I need to do though is plane the back side here because there's some unevenness to the joint so I can get a nice flat glue face on the butcher block piece. So I'm gonna use this little electric planer and see how it goes. Okay, so I've gotten this nice and flat between using the planer and the belt sander and now I'm gonna cut out the shape roughly, the scroll saw and get to glue them together. Okay, so now that we've gotten our top rough cut out, I left a little extra so that uh, I can sand it off later or cut it off later. It's time to open the clamp up and get to gluing. Now that we've got the two pieces of the mold or the clamp separated, we're going to put the base piece in, which is the butcher block, and apply some glue to it. I need plenty of glue, so I'm going to use a putty knife. Here we go. <clears throat> Put the top clamp on.
Okay, now it's important to clean the edges. We got smushage, smushage kind of everywhere. So now you can see we've got it, everything tight. And underneath here you can see the top and the bottom are smushed together. We've got glue coming out almost everywhere. There we go. Okay, so here it's been 24 hours. The guitar's clamped in here. We're gonna take it apart. See what it looks like. Look at that. Two pieces of wood stuck together. Glue out of every orifice. All right. Okay, so this time we're gonna trim this top piece flush with the body. Now the easiest way to do that is to get a flush trim router bit. Uh, it's got a bearing on the top. This is a three flute one, so hopefully it'll last a little longer. But basically what it happens is the bearing rides along here and it trims this wood down when you put the router on it. So that's what we're going to do today. One of the things that's important to do is make sure that your piece is held down tightly. All I've done is push it against the edges of my workbench here and then clamp down a piece that I cut off the top. So it'll be nice and steady for, uh, for when we router it. So let's get started. So as you can see, it makes a huge mess, but you know, it saves you a lot of time. Now we'll just get the oscillating sander out and sand them both together flush. So now that we've got the top and bottom routed together, we're going to use the spindle sander and clean it up. We've got some, you know, obviously glue and there's some rough cut marks in here, so we're going to get all that fixed up. So here it is, you know, uh, finished up a little bit on the spindle sander. As you can see, we've got nice clean joint. All the glue is cleaned up on it all the way around. Our clamping was a success. We got nice, nice tight joint between the two all the way around. So we'll put some finished grit in there later on and and uh, finish sand it. But that was just uh, like a rough 60 grit. And so yeah, so the back of the guitar's got. We already did the routing and stuff, so 